Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are looking to outflank the royal family as they target the younger generations with meaningful work, an American PR expert has claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who stepped back from their royal duties and moved to the US in 2020, are on a mission to be seen as the members of the firm who care, commentator Eric Schiffer suggested as he analyzed what he called the couple's relatability strategy. Mr. Schiffer said, they, Harry and Meghan, are going to own the hearts and minds of Gen Z and millennials. They will be seen as the real royals, who care. They are trying to outflank the royal family. They are trying to do the work of what the royal family typically is about, which is about optimizing society and helping to make society that much more uplifted in many ways, whether that is emotional or culturally. Harry, 37, and Meghan, 40, live in California with their two children, two-year-old Archie and Lilibet, who celebrates her first birthday in June. From Montecito, where they enjoy more privacy than they used to back in the UK, the pair have launched projects that Mr. Schiffer believe have been carefully chosen to target Gen Z and Millennials. Their Spotify and Netflix media deals, he thinks, are ideal to tighten their relationships with Gen Z and Millennials, something that happens whenever you can take the mask of celebrity off, especially if you are positioned at a high level and are able to show your heart and speak about things that are true for you authentically. He added, they have zeroed in on the future of the monarchy, which is the youth of the world. Earlier this month, the Sussexes spoke at a virtual panel with the Duke's company Better Up, where he once again opened up about his mental health. He said, I too experience burnout. I'm burning the candle at both ends and that's like, boom. Some days are great, some days are really hard. I know I need to meditate every single day. Everyone has such busy days. If you have 15 minutes of white space, I allow half an hour or 45 minutes in the morning when one kid has gone to school and the other is having a nap. Mr. Schiffer pointed at such appearances as the key to their connection with younger people. He told the Daily Star, one of the things I think both Harry and Meghan have done is to position themselves in a royal way but relatable to the public, and aligned themselves with the values that younger people care about whether it's economy or equality. Commenting on the Prince's efforts to destigmatize mental health issues, the PR expert claimed, I think what he is doing is wonderful. It is very helpful to young people to see more examples of males that are willing to talk about these things and normalize them. Meghan, meanwhile, used her interview with US host Ellen DeGeneres some months back to renew her call for the US to implement paid family leave, a subject she has shown a passion for in repeated instances. Speaking on NBC, she told DeGeneres, I think that people truly forget, or don't even know, that in this country, it's one of the only six countries in the entire world and the only wealthy nation in the entire world that does not mandate and have a federal paid leave program. Everybody knows, especially if you have had a child and even if you haven't, you know how hard it is and how critical it is in those first few weeks, if not months, to be together as a family. The mother of two added, and the fact that we don't offer that here is something that now, as a mom of two, I will do everything that I can to make sure that we can implement that for people. Once again, Mr. Schiffer praised the duo's commitment to using their status to spread messages they care about, all while nurturing their image. He said, the more platforms they have for that, which they are passionate about, it services their brand. It is tapping into a fit within the needs of the market.